Hi everybody, it's Miss Christy. It's time for our first summer family story time. And I am excited that today is the letter C, the letter C. So shall we say hello, my friends? And I'm gonna sing hello to all my friends whose names start with C, at least all the ones I could remember. And you sing friends. So I'm gonna sing names, but you sing friends. Are you ready, my friends? Show me your hellos. Here we go. We're going to sing. Hello, Clara. Hello, Cameron. Hello, Charlie. It's time to say hello. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Calia. Hello, Camila. It's time to say hello. Hello, Connor. Hello, CJ. Hello, Cleo. It's time to say hello. Good job, my friends. Good job. Well, the letter C, can we draw it? Do you want to draw it? You start at the top and you go swoop down to the bottom. There's the letter C. The letter C also stands for counting and colors. So today we're going to talk about counting and colors. Friends, the first book for I have us have for us to read is called Count the Monkeys. It's written by Mac Barnett and illustrated by Kevin Cornell. Shall we sing our story time song, friends? Here we go. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. It is time for us to read, so let's all listen, please. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Here we go, my friends. Time to count the monkeys. Should we count the ones on the cover? Now let's get inside. We'll count the monkeys. Hmm, no monkeys to count there. Oh, this is one of those books that starts on the end papers. It says, Monkeys This Way. And it says, Hey, kids. Time to count the monkeys. It's fun. It's easy. All you have to do is turn the page and count the monkeys. Here we go. Are you ready? Is that a monkey? It isn't. Yikes! One king cobra has scared off all the monkeys. Turn the page very slowly, very carefully, so he doesn't notice us. Are you ready? Whew, look, two mongooses have chased away that cobra. One, two, is it, is it two mongoose, two mongoose? I'm pretty sure it's two mongooses. Let's vote. Okay, raise your hand if you think it's two mongooses. That sounds funny. Raise your hand if you think it's two mongoose. Hmm, interesting, okay. Turn the page. I bet the monkeys will be back. Are you ready? Here we go. Are these monkeys my friends? These do not look like monkeys. Uh-oh, three crocodiles frightened those mongooses. I dislike crocodiles, especially these crocodiles. Move your hand in a zigzag way. All right, that will confuse them. Move your hand in a zigzag way and I'm gonna turn the page in a zigzag way. Are you ready? Are you zigging? Here we go. There we go. I never thought I would miss those crocodiles, but these four grizzly bears are even worse. Looks like more, let's count them. Are we sure there's four? One, two, three, four. We're never gonna get to count the monkeys. Okay, put your arms above your head. Are your arms above your head? Make a loud roar, roar. Bang together some pots and pans if you have them. All right, but most importantly, we have to turn the page. Okay, so we have to follow the directions. Put your arms above your head. Make a loud roar. Roar! Bang something together. Okay, see if it worked. Okay, turn the page. Whew. Oh, whoa. Five bee swarms drove off those bears. Bees can smell fear. You're not afraid, are you? Good. I'm not afraid. I love bees. Bees are good. We'll hum a happy tune while we turn the page and smile. Okay, you ready? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, Six sweet old beekeepers have shooed off all those bees. Say thank you. Six times politely. These ladies care very much about good manners. Okay, let's say thank you to each one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, finally, the monkeys can come back. Turn the page to count the monkeys. Here we go. Clearly not monkeys. Seven wolves sent those old ladies packing. Wolves and grandmas never get along. This is very important. Don't look these wolves in the eye. Don't do it. Cover your eyes. In fact, you should cover your eyes. It says, cover your eyes while you turn the page. Friends, I can't, I can't hold the book and cover my eyes and turn the page so you cover your eyes. Okay, you ready? Got them covered? Okay, here we go. Okay, it's better. You can uncover your eyes now. Oh, look, eight lumberjacks took care of those wolves. Thanks, guys. Now it's safe for the monkeys. Give each lumberjack a high five and then turn the page so we can count the monkeys. Okay, so first we have to give each one a high five. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lumberjacks. Wait, that's wrong. There's eight lumberjacks. Should we do it again quickly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Somebody got two. All right, turn the page to count the monkeys. Wait still eight lumberjacks and they seem to be settling in don't they understand that we're trying to count the monkeys tell these guys scram scram say it louder scram okay good let's turn the page hmm nine lumberjacks they invited a friend how are we going to get rid of them any ideas oh, look at that 10 polka dotted rhinoceroses with bagpipes and bad breath cleared out those lumberjacks. I didn't see that coming. Was that your idea? It wasn't my idea. Huh, check that out. Okay, we're finally ready to... Oh no, it looks like we're out of pages. Well, this is terrible. We made it to the end and there are zero monkeys in this book. Now we'll never get to count the monkeys. Oh, it's just terrible. Can't believe that we didn't. Oh my goodness sakes. You're right. Look at that. There's all the monkeys. Oh, friends, that's too many to count right now. The next time you get this book out of the library, you have to count those monkeys and tell me how many there are. So that was good listening, my friends. We have just one more quick game to play. We're gonna warm up a little bit before we play this game. This is a game with colors in it, and it's a favorite that we play at the library. But quickly before we do that, we're gonna look at this neat little book that isn't so much one you read as you just enjoy. Friends, shall we practice our colors? What color is this? Oh, it is, it's red. Look at that, red. This is called a pop-up book, my friends, and I particularly love them. And here is blue. See what blue is. Oh, it's a parrot. Let's do it again. Blue. And here, yellow. Let's see what yellow is. Oh, look at that. How clever. Let's do it a little closer. Oh, that's neat. How about purple? Oh, what's purple going to be? Oh butterflies. Look at that. Oh, green. Friends, this is my favorite page in the book, even though I don't much like snakes. He looks like a good snake. Should we do that one again? That's cool. Oh, look at that. He's green. Green. And how about orange? Who's orange? You're right. Tigers are orange. You see how he's coming up out of the grass? Here we go. Let's do that again. Orange. And here is brown. Huh, it's another monkey. Who would have thought that? Do him again. Brown. And how about pink? What's pink? 
Oh, a flamingo. Flamingos are pink because they eat shrimp. Here's pink and uh, let's see. Oh, this is black and white. So here's black and white. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's penguins. Look at that one, my friends. Penguins. Oh, and this says all colors. All colors. Look. It is a coral reef, isn't it? With some very colorful fish in it. Look at that. Good practicing, my friends. Good practicing. All right, we have a quick game to play. And parents and caregivers, you could easily have your little one help you create this game, which is a favorite. Underneath one of these boxes is a fox. And friends, you could draw your own boxes and color them different colors and hide them from your family just like this. So we have yellow, orange, red, blue, green, and pink. Shall we start up here with yellow? Let's start up here. Remember how we asked? Little fox, little fox, are you in the yellow box? Is he there? Is he ever in the first one? Never. Poop. No surprise there. All right, how about orange, my friends? Little fox, little fox, are you in the orange box? No. Sometimes I forget where I put him. Little fox, little fox, are you in the red box? No, he's not there. Oh, he's got to be somewhere in this row. Let's start with blue. Little fox, little fox, are you in the blue box? Ba -ba -da. Oh, so I thought I remembered I put him there. All right, it's got to be green or pink. Here we go, my friends. Little fox, little fox, are you in the green box? Oh, there he is. Good job, my friends. And in the library, we usually have to play that at least twice, don't we, my friends? But you could make that game for yourself at home. You could make any shape you wanted. You could hide a little mouse inside a little house um, or whatever you would like to do. All right, my friends, that's the end of story time today. Can you show me your goodbyes? Show me your goodbyes. Here we go. Let's sing. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you soon.